you must ascend the tower and retrieve the glyphs. Greetings and salutations everyone, I'm Mac. This is Let's Play Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. In the last episode, we got haunted. Zelda's hanging around us, insisting that we go and risk our lives for her, for her name, her country, but mostly to get her body back. We ran into the Elder. She explained that the reason why Zelda's uh, having a bit of an out-of-body experience is because, well, the Demon King wants to look cute. Can't fault him on that, but we can fault him on the whole we'll destroy the world when he gets out, so we gotta go stop that. And to do that, we have to ascend the Spirit Tower. This tower is magnificent, isn't it, Link? Let's head up to that door. Alright, let's go. So yeah, this is sort of the Temple of the Ocean King, but a lot less backtracking involved. We'll get to that when we get to that, though. For now, we have... Look at those giant doors, Link! They look really heavy. I don't think one person alone could open them. Oh my gosh, what is the, in the world is that? I've never seen a monster as ferocious looking as that one, Link! Let's get out of here, Link! Alright, first boss time! And... Well, that didn't work out, did it? What's the matter? You look as pale as a ghost. Though given the company you're keeping, perhaps it's no surprise. Enjin, there was a ferocious monster up there with a great big sword. I don't see how we can possibly defeat it. Sounds like a phantom, my dear. There are the guardians of the Tower of Spirits. We're retconning phantom hourglass, you see. Though they look quite sinister, they won't harm anyone with a good heart. I know what I saw. It was definitely after us. Why would it think Link is evil? Is there something you're not telling me? There is one possible explanation. With the spirit tracks gone, Perhaps an evil spirit has possessed the phantom. If that's the case, we might have trouble beating it. Hitting the phantom in your back with your sword should stop it for a time. But first, you need to gather all three of the Tears of Light. That will power up your sword, then you'll be able to face the phantom. Remember, collect all three Tears of Light, then hit the phantom in the back. Collecting three tiers of light and hit the phantom in the back. Sounds tricky. If anyone can do it, Link can. Alright, let's give it a try, Link. She does... I guess I'll give credit where it's due. There is a tendency to repeat tutorials in the DS Zelda games. Where your tutorial fairy will immediately parrot whatever it is that's been said. Maybe they're making sure that you're paying attention. That phantom is still here. Let's follow engine's instructions. We have to grab all three tiers of light without letting the phantom see us. I can tell it means business, so we have to be brave. So yeah, very Temple of the Ocean King. It's a stealth mission. There's something strangely calm about this area here. Do you feel it too, Link? Princess Zelda, can you hear me? It's Anjin! Anjin? Yes, it's me, my dear. Listen. The area you are in now is a safe zone, one that is protected by spirits. As long as you are in a safe zone, you are hidden from enemy view. Furthermore, enemies cannot enter safe zones. Make good use of safe zones to hide from the phantoms. Now you have no time to waste. You must go find that glyph. Thank you, Anjin. Okay, Link, let's get moving. So, 
Oh, it not only does it make it sound as though Anjin isn't actually speaking to us with magic, she's just bellowing from the bottom of the tower. But also, she only wanted to tell this to Zelda. She didn't care about whether Link knew it or not. You got a tear of light. Gather a three of them to power up your sword. A little less tedious than it was in, uh, what's it? Hey there! I'm trying to upset the phantom by having him look over here. I guess he's not allowed to look that way. But yes, if you don't have the tears of light, then it doesn't do anything. Don't get cocky. Um, hmm. Slight technical hitch here. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's timed! Right, we gotta hustle ever so slightly. Now that you have three tiers of light, your sword is full of energy. You should be able to attack a phantom now by hitting him in the back. Alright, it's time to crack this coconut. That didn't work! Look out, Link! Link! What just happened? Don't look so scared, Link. It's me, it's Zelda. You put on a lot of weight. Never mind, I'm going to kill you now. I don't know what happened here, but when I saw that phantom cornered you, I just leaped at it without even thinking. Oh, this is really not my day, is it? I'm going to have to do things now. First I lose my body, now I look like a heap of scrap metal. Did I mention it's kind of hot in here? Oh, wait a second. Maybe I can be of some use to you like this. <laughs> that is actually kind of intimidating the way she leans in. It's not exactly what you'd expect from a princess. But right now, that can't really be helped. Come on, Link, let's get moving! We need to find my body. Uh, I mean that glyph! <laughs> let's get this door open. We can do it together, Link. We can control her the same way we did in the first place. You have to help me push this link. Heave ho! By the way, um... You can attack Princess Zelda like this. If she's carrying a key, it is a way you can get her to drop things. But, uh... Do so with the same apprehension you would with beating up Kukos. She will eventually get pissed off and chase you down. And I think unlike standard phantoms, she can actually see you in safe spots. So she will hunt you down relentlessly.
Phantoms can walk across spikes and hit switches. I don't think you can let get through these floor spikes, Link. Leave it to me, I'll figure something out. This is actually based off of a game, the multiplayer mode in Phantom Hourglass. It's quite cool. I'm coming. Something she can't do is fly though, so we gotta be cautious. Oh, and that sword isn't for show. She can absolutely wreck enemies for you. Yes, she's still terrified of rats as a phantom. That was scary. You have to plug up this block, otherwise the rats will keep respawning. Oh wait, no, no, no. There's another phantom link! But wait a second. Now that I'm in disguise, maybe I can trick him into thinking I'm on his side. I'll go try. How goes the patrol? This job is hard on the feet. Please go hit the switch. No one's here, why are we guarding it? Hmm, so there's a treasure chest here. I don't think we have what we need to get it yet. That might change though, so it's a good idea to mark things down that look interesting, like so, on the map. I'm going to use these weird, uh... I'm going to use this as a marker for chests. And I'm going to use this as a marker for explosive, for explosions. where I need bombs. So did you hear about Jerry? I'm coming! Ah, uh, it's nice to get out of that clinky outfit and back to my old self. There must be something special about this room. It looks like the light of the, your sword has disappeared too, Link. You found the forest glyph. On one side is a map of the forest land. But what's on the other side? Some of the lost spirit tracks have reappeared! I'd be really nervous about staying downstairs from all those tower pieces. I mean, what happens if the magic holding them in place snaps? They would just fall with a crash and flatten your build and flatten your house. Great job, Link! That must be the glyph engine was talking about. What could that blue light be? This is Engine here! Good work, you two! You've done well obtaining the glyph, but you can't go any farther now. 
Step into the light to return to the tower lobby. Fail, you heard her, Link. Let's go. Ah, so you managed to obtain the glyph. You two just might be able to restore the spirit tracks in every land. But Anjin, the glyph only had a small section of the spirit tracks etched on it. Where are the temples you were talking about? In each of the four lands is a temple. Look, my dear, the closest one is here. But I don't think you can make it to the temple as well, things are right now. It does look like quite the walk. Even if we were to make it to that leftmost part. The glyph has imparted energy to a length of the spirit tracks here. But because of the Demon King's power, much of the energy was lost. So we can't go to the temple engine? Not yet, but there is a way to restore the energy to the glyphs. You can ask my people to help you. Just have my people talk to your people. I don't know. Apparently that's not a very polite thing to say, but I kept hearing it being said. Then again, I kept hearing it being said in a game that was full of inappropriate things to say, so maybe that's just not me. Your people engine? Indeed, we are called the Locomos. We are servants of the people. They have entrusted us with protecting the temples and the spirit tracks. By playing our sacred instruments, we generate energy that powers the spirit tracks. Sacred instruments. Yes, that pan flute you hold, the spirit pipes, is one of them. Do you want it back? I could give it back. That flute was a gift from my grandmother. I didn't know it had any powers. I'd only heard that it was something precious handed down from my ancestors. Yes, and it was I who gave it to your ancestors. But only under the condition that they protect the land for all time. Seems like a rather unfair trade. Here's a musical instrument. Now you're bound to protect this land forever. Of course, back then I didn't think things would take such a perilous turn. It was just a store knick-knack. I'm glad after all these years it has found its way into your hands. Well, unfortunately it hasn't because she doesn't have hands anymore. I have to carry it. I had no idea this flute was so important. My grandmother used to play it for me when I was a little girl. If I was sad or upset, the sound of this flute would make me feel better. But even so, I suppose its rightful place is with you, Anjin. No, you two will need it. Take it with you. For now. You must go find the other locomos and restore the energy of the glyphs. Once you do, the spirit tracks will appear. Go to the forest first, where you must talk to the locomo Gage. Southwest of here is a sanctuary where you can find Gage. He will be able to tell you where to go next. Got it? Let's go, Link. Oh, but we don't have a train. How are we going to get to the forest? You may take this. Now that's a fancy magic trick. This train is a symbol of the spirits. People ordinary don't ride around on it. But for the low, low price of 99 rupees, I suppose I could part with a ticket. But these are no so ordinary circumstances. I'm sure the spirits wouldn't mind lending it to you. Thank you, Anjin. So, incidentally, when we 
do crack the other area, the other temples, we should be able to use them as shortcuts to get to the other lands. But we'd have to have access to those other lands in the first place, and we only have access to forest land at the moment. There's something strangely powerful about the glyph you recovered. If you trace your stylus over the tracks, you can set your path. Go on and try it, Link. So we can go to wherever we want in whatever direction we want. We just can't wrap our route around because obviously why would you want to go that way? Uh, let's go straight to the temple because there is things I want to show. Although, oh, just one last thing about the rail map. Should you decide to change your destination mid-course, redraw your travel route by tapping route in the lower corner of the screen. Oh, uh, no, it's Anjin. Unfortunately, I haven't enough power to speak with you beyond this point. Be brave, you two. My lungs aren't what they used to be. So yeah, we're back on the train. When you set the path using the trace route function, then it will automatically set the track switches as you would want. Look over there, there's a moink on the tracks! Yeah, you can't take your eyes off the, off the road just because... Scram! Scare that mon- give that monster a scare to drive it away! Where'd it go? I think I scared it away. So this whistle isn't just for show, it is a weapon that we use to fight off monsters. And yet... So... Go away! Cheeky! They get me distracted by the monster over there, and then, um... Hang on. So, here's a thought. Exactly where would that be? Because this is something I want to take note of for later. Oh uh, yeah, um... As I was saying, people did originally feel kind of cheated that the game went from having the free-roaming steamboat over to just having a train locked on rails, but, uh, here's the thing. How often did you actually need free-roam on your boat? They kept you from sequence breaking by having a bunch of rocks, and it was just a whole bunch of water with uh, the occasional enemy or gem or explodable thing to get your eyes on. The train rails are just... I feel like the train rails make for better gameplay even if it's a bit less freedom, but you're not really losing that much freedom. This forest feels odd. So, in case it hasn't been made uh, slightly obvious, this is the Lost Woods. It's very non-eventful, isn't it? Although it is rather eerie, slightly creepy, and it feels like any moment now something's going to jump out and get you. Or alternatively, the train's just going to fall off the tracks because it is moving kind of fast now. <coughs> the 
that last one hits you pretty fast, doesn't it? What's happening? Five feet back at the entrance. What should we do? So, as Lost Woods entails, it kicks you out if you take the wrong route. If you do know the trick to the route, if you do know the trick, then it is actually very easy to, you can do it on your first time, but let's show how you're actually supposed to solve this. Actually, wait, no, 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 we don't want to check out to solve this because we want to go back home. I just remember there's something you should try to do as soon as humanly possible, and we need to go back home to do it. Uh, speaking of which... Is he gone? He's gone. So, as you can see, there's something hiding under that rock. We can whistle, but we can't actually do anything with it yet. Still, mark it on the map for later. Yeah, it's important to mark these things that- Why are you back again? And stay out! Anyway, uh... I forget whether you can crash into the side of the building or not. Yep, you can. Oh, Link! This tiny village that you call home is lovely. Though I don't know if I could live here. Oh, that's right. Then do you want to board the train? Please let me know. I'll show up like this whenever you get near the train. Hello there, valued customer. We're here for all your postal needs. Apparently you don't have anything that I need. Alfonso. So anyway, um... Link and Nico. Hi there, Link. How was this ceremony? So you're finally a real engineer. Ah, this is a happy day. Say, why are you dressed like a soldier? It's strange. You look like just like a friend of mine when I was a young man. Oh. I guess that's not available yet. Uh, what he... Hmm. Do I want to bring up what he gives us right now? Not particularly. Oh well. It's a cute reference to Wind Waker and Phantom Hourglass, so I'm glad I got to show it. So yeah, this is the one move... Uh, something else I picked up is that this is the one move that they didn't show off in the training segment, if you draw a line between Link and his target, then he does a forward stab. It's very quick and snappy, quite lovely. Hey, look, Lou's back. How's the ceremony, Link? Wait a second, have your engineer's clothes always been that... green? Anyhow, I think off-screen I want to drive to the actual destination because train time is going to take up some time for this let's play. But, until then guys, yeah, we have our goal in mind, we have to figure out how to get through the Lost Woods. Until then guys, take care, I'll see you all around.